my friend and colleague, the incredible Sonia Yoncheva, who is with me now. Hello. Hello, Matthew. So, last, uh, let's see, the season premiere of La Traviata was last night. How did it go? It was amazing. Yeah, amazing? There was, there was something really special last night because the audience was completely with us. I remember having this silent moment on stage where I felt like I was doing Traviata with 4,000 people together. Oh, it was really amazing. Cool experience. I will keep it in my heart. <laughs> All right, so this was a powerful duet that our audience just watched. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your tenor, Michael Fabiano? Oh, he's a great colleague. We had a lot of fun rehearsing this, and, uh, and uh, I already worked with him, I should say, in Lucia di Lammermoor many years ago. Oh, yeah. And so this is actually the second time we met. And it's, with him it's always fun, you know. It's very important to be light and to be, to be cool between yeah, colleagues. To have yeah. fun, actually. Yeah, exactly. Make it exactly. feel a little less like work, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> so when I sang Alfredo in this production, it was new in 2010, and I loved the detailed way that Willy Decker took in your rehearsals, what did you focus on with him? We focused on the drama of this of this woman, you know. She was a very special woman. She was um, not only the most famous courtesan in the history, but also as a woman, she, she was completely rich of colors. Mm. So we really focused on her intimate world. Who is she inside? Uh, yeah. What yeah. actually Alfredo reveals to her, you know, this, this, in, this internal world she has inside. Uh, yeah, well, without mm. the love, it's hard to know. She didn't really know love before, yeah? No, exactly. Yeah. And, and this is the first time she, she's able to believe in it and she's authorized by the society and herself to, uh, to give it a chance. Right, right. Mm. So you recently emerged as one of the world's leading sopranos and violettas. What is it about this role that you specifically connect with? Is there some part that you really, really relate to for you? Yeah, completely. I, I am uh, totally in love with the moment where she sings Dite alla giovine. Oh, yeah. Also because I believe this is the moment where she's... When she's with the father, yeah? Yes, and she's completely dead in that moment. This is mm. her real death before her physical death, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's what I believe. And how has your view of the character developed as you've started to sing her more and more? Are you changing your ideas about who she is as you do it more often? <laughs> yeah, why not? I yeah. mean, I, I love Traviata. I love completely Traviata. And uh, if, if, if it, it always feels like developing, you know. You're always searching for some new colors, for some new experience vocally, but also artistically. And um, no, I, I pretty much enjoy it. I, I felt yesterday like doing it for the first time. So this oh, was the best great. sensation. That's a great yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah. Sonia, thanks for coming in to speak with me. We are looking forward to your Traviata on movie screens March 11th. Thank you, much. Bye, dear. Bye. <laughs>